Yo, what's going on guys? Elbow here, back for the final video of May Mayhem, which, if you guys didn't know, was a special thing I've been doing for the past month. Some of you may not have known about it since only about 500 people watched that first announcement video, and I got a lot of comments saying, hey, why'd you change your front picture? And all of that was explained in that announcement video. So if you were wondering, May Mayhem, yeah, basically was the thing we I've been doing for the last month, and that's why I've been uploading a lot more often. However, now that May's over, gonna be uploading a little bit less often, probably once every week, maybe once every couple weeks instead of twice a week that I have been doing. So um, anyway, today I'm gonna be doing something quite different. I'm going to be documenting my progress while making a game in Unity. As you guys know, I've already made a game in Unity before, Marble Mania, but I've actually made a few other games that I haven't shown on my channel. But anyway, I decided it would be fun to show you guys how I make a game from start to finish. So let's hop right into it. First, the idea. My idea was that this would be a first-person multiplayer game where everyone was a blob, because that would be easier than a humanoid, and that these blobs would be basically playing dodgeball. Some other stuff I wanted to add it included. Anyway, now that I knew what I wanted to make, I made the project in Unity, naming it Blob Ball. Leave better names in the comments below. I then began working on the basics. I created our blob and our environment. I at first wanted to code movement first, but after an hour of tutorials on how to make a movement script without using Unity's default character controller and accidentally deleting all my code, I decided that instead, I would code the camera movement first. Luckily, this was way easier, and only took a little bit. Here's a quick explanation of the code. Basically, it checks if the look action has been performed, meaning I move the mouse, and will change the camera's rotation based on my mouse input. Pretty simple stuff. Next, I tried to get movement working again. It went a little better the second time I tried. After an hour or so, I ended up with this. While it worked, it looked like I was constantly on ice, so I went about changing that, which took longer than it probably should have. I ended up having to take some code from some other places, which I don't generally like doing, but it worked, so whatever. Then, after finally getting to where I was at least somewhat happy with the movement, I tried working on jumping. While this didn't take as long, I still had quite a few issues. The main issue wasn't with getting the jump to work right, but trying to get when you can jump to work right. I tried a method which I had never tried before in checking whether or not I was grounded, and it ended up being way harder and causing more issues than any other method I tried. And instead I ended up on a solution which also wasn't anything I tried before but was way easier to implement, and worked alright. And one benefit that I got from using this method was that it wasn't very hard to then add a feature that I really wanted. Wall jumping. By adding wall jumping, I unintentionally created a new issue, but that wasn't very hard to fix. Then, at that point, I was basically done with all the movement stuff, so there's only one thing left to do. Give my blob eyes. This obviously wasn't the final look of my blob or my game, but I felt like I had gotten to a good stopping point, so that's where this video ends. I'm hoping to make this a series where every few weeks I update you guys on the progress through this game. Uh, in this case, this video is only of the last couple of days of coding, but for future videos I'll be covering a lot more time. So I probably won't be able to explain each script, but if you guys really want that, I'll for sure do it. Um, anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!